What's up and welcome back to my channel. Now on today's video, we are talking attraction marketing for beginners. Plus, I'm gonna give you some extra bonus tips to help you win. All of that coming right up. Now, before we get started, in case you are totally new to me in my channel, what's up? I'm Sherry Brown. I'm the creator of the Moms Marketing Lounge, and I love more than anything helping those driven moms who are on a mission to create a solid brand and marketing plan uniquely designed with your lifestyle in mind. And on this channel, I do everything from product reviews and tutorials, as well as actual social media and marketing strategies that you can implement to go further faster when building your business online. So if you're new here and this kind of seems like it's your vibe, then just subscribe and make sure that you hit the bell so you get notified as I upload new videos each and every week. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. So what is attraction marketing? I remember when I first got started online, after my own sister told me that I was a spammer and I was spinning my wheels and I was not getting anywhere when it came to building a business online. I was making it zero dollars. My following was pretty much zilch and I was turning a lot of people off. So what attraction marketing is, is simply you putting out content that in turn is going to attract people to you. And think of it like a magnet, right? A magnet, it attracts people. Or another way you can think of it is uh, I don't know, like if you fish, obviously you know what fishing is. So think about you, you know, going out, you got your fishing pole and you've got like some bait on the end of it and you throw that bait out and that bait, AKA your content is what is going to attract people to you. Now content can really come in many forms. It could be video like I'm doing now because it's really just information. Content is information in the form of, like I said, videos. It could be podcast. Maybe, you know, maybe you don't want to show your face on video, but maybe you want to put out a podcast. Maybe you like to write. It could be you blogging. It could be social media posts. It could be webinars that you do or even free resources. I have created several different resources like you're seeing kind of pop up on the screen. I've created a resource for those who are looking to build on Facebook. I have created, you know, a free in-depth training called your five-step online marketing plan to put your business on the social media map. So that is a way to attract people. So again, it's just information that you put out that is going to attract people to you to help you build your audience and in the end, ultimately a profitable business, right? Now here's the deal. If you really want your content to, to do what it's supposed to do, it should do one of three things, right? It should entertain, educate, or inspire. I have like a no negativity rule because, you know, I just feel like if you are putting negative stuff out there or you're, you know, bitching or you're moaning or you're being really negative, that it's going to attract the wrong type of people. And so I would definitely be mindful and not post like anything that's super like controversial or, you know, negative you have to consider the type of person that you want to attract and again, entertain them, educate them, inspire them. And when you can go out there and your content can entertain, educate, inspire, what that's gonna do is allow you to really start building you know, a community of people who wanna be in your world. And it allows you to build that deeper connection with people and listen, without that no like and trust factor. If somebody doesn't know you, if they don't feel like they can trust you, then they will never buy anything that you recommend. Now, the second thing that I want you to be mindful of when it comes to creating content, this is very, very important and something that I do dive a little deeper in when it comes to my free training, which you will see, you know, you can check the resources below in the description and I'll leave a link to some other resources that I really think that's gonna help you. But one thing that, you know, if you want your content that you put out to, to be more impactful, then you have to think about who it is that you want to attract. Think about who you're creating that content for because one of the worst things you can do, and this is something that I did, is try to attract everybody, okay? That is like the kiss of death for your business. I remember when I first got started, when it came to like online marketing, I got my foot in the door and I was actually with a skincare company. Now I'm no longer with them and I'm not, you know, promoting like those type of products, although I still use them obviously. But um, I thought, hey, like I sell skincare, like everybody with skin is, you know, like an ideal prospect or can benefit from this. And yeah, although that may be true, everybody does have skin, not everybody gives a crap about their skin. And at that time I was selling premium skincare. 
And so obviously like not everybody is gonna care about their skin and there's less, even less people who are gonna want to, you know, invest a larger amount for that high-end skincare. So you really have to think about who you want to attract and who you want to create that content for. Then what you can do is think about their pains, think about their problems, think about what keeps them up at night, what are their desires. Because one of the one of the worst things you could do is go out there and try to make everything about you. This again is another mistake that I made. I was putting up social media posts and it was definitely not the right way to do attraction marketing. It was the wrong way. It was more like repellent marketing at that time. But I was making it all about me, right? And when you make it all about yourself, like your content's gonna fall flat. People are going to ignore you. They're gonna bypass you. And at the end of the day, nobody really cares about like what you want to do nobody cares about your goals okay nobody cares if you make any money in your business but they do care about their own problems we're a selfish society like that right so when you can go out and start creating content that is solving a problem for that ideal person that you want to attract that is where the magic's gonna happen. Because everybody, and I mean everybody, is looking for some type of transformation. Now, of course, this video was short and sweet, but it does give you just a, you know, attraction marketing a beginner's guide to what it is and what it consists of. Now, I again will link more resources and more tips below that you can check out. And if you got some value from this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear what questions you have around attraction marketing because I know with all the information out there, it can be a little overwhelming and frustrating to try to filter through everything and sometimes like you end up going down rabbit holes and that's like the worst thing you can do. So leave me whatever questions you have around attraction marketing, online marketing in general, and I will do my best to feature you in an upcoming video. Hope you have the best day, the best week, and until next time, mama, just remember, building a business is easier than birthing babies. You got this.